Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's Boardsy, and no, that title is not an attempt at bamboozlement, commonly referred to as clickbait. This is actually a wireless Viper Mini clone. It has a 3335, and uh, it's now available on NA Amazon, so pretty sick. Um, used to only be available on, like, UK Amazon and AliExpress, and yeah, just gonna open it up. Haven't done this yet. Wow, look at this uh, eco-friendly based packaging. That's uh, always awesome to see. You know me, I love the environment, as you can tell by the fact I have my PC on constantly. Ah, uh, the environment is causing some problems. Never mind, mouse has fallen out. Okay, already I see that it has a slot for the uh, USB on the mouse. Pretty nice, pretty nice. Um, how do we get this out, however? Okay, that took me like five minutes, but I finally removed the USB. Okay, let's see. How does this mouse feel? It's very easy to activate side flexing. Bit of bottom flexing as well. How are these clicks? Hmm, surprisingly crispy out of the box. And I plugged this mouse in, tried to find out what switches it's using. I, I just can't. Um, they feel like Huano blue shell white dots. Um, it doesn't say, like, officially anywhere. Um, but as you can see, the quality on these clicks, fucking focus. Um, there's, like, barely any side-to-side -side play. No pre-travel, um, no post-travel. Obviously, this is right out of the box, so I can't speak to how it's going to hold up over time. But I'm just surprised that a copy can even have clicks that feel this good considering this is a $45 wireless mouse. Um, 70 grams has a 3335. I'm going to need to test it in game before I can really judge the sensor. Um, these side buttons don't seem to be too good. Very skinny, kind of like the AROX 3. And, uh, oof, that is just a rough sound. <laughs> I don't know. The side buttons probably won't be the best. And it was at this moment that I learned that the mouse is not the exact same size as the Viper Mini. It is slightly larger. Um, couldn't have checked that before recording because this was a raw unboxing. Um, but yeah, it seems to be a bit larger in every dimension. 123.6 by 63.8 by 38.3 for the people who care about dimensions. But yeah, this mouse is definitely not as small as the Viper Mini in hand, and it does have these grips on the side, um, which feel like slightly rubberized. I remember in mice used to use grips like this, they would wear down, um, so I don't really know if that is a like valid complaint to have. But there are like rubberized grips on the side, and they feel pretty nice, honestly better than the ones on fucking Razer mice, which is just so funny to me. And uh, out of the box, the clicks and the scroll wheel are like pretty fucking good. Um, the side buttons, like I mentioned, uh, they do feel like the AROX 3 and just have like a strange feeling and sound. I'll definitely like update on how they feel once I actually use them in game. And the weight is 70 grams and it seems to be balanced pretty well. Like what is the catch with this mouse? Um, at this point, it does seem too good to be true. So I'm going to test it in game. Maybe the sensor is going to be fucking wonky. Um, also, it's USB-C, comes with a cable. I'm honestly, it's not worth taking out to tell you if it's flexible. I'll do that at some other point. And since yesterday, I have had a good bit of time to use this mouse in-game, probably around like six to eight hours of in-game use, and I still don't really have anything to, bad to say about this mouse. Um, these feet really aren't that good, and they don't follow the same model as the standard Viper Mini. It looks like somebody just looked at the Viper Mini feet design and tried to guess, like, yeah, this would probably be close. Um, so I don't think there's really any aftermarket feet, and these are just, like, shitty Teflon. Um, so that's, like, one flaw, I guess. This coating is really premium. It's, like, I'm not sweating on it whatsoever. It's somehow, like, sweat-resistant. Is it, like, water-resistant? I don't know. Um, yeah, it seems like it's a water-resistant coating. That's freaking sick and epic. But sadly, unlike the coating of this mouse, the inked gaming pad is not water resistant, so I had to swap out the pad. And now I'm just going to talk about the 3335 because that is the big thing regarding this mouse. Because um, if everything else is perfect and the sensor is shit, nobody's going to be buying the mouse. And I have unfortunately had a few issues with the sensor, but I think that they were more related to connectivity than the actual like implementation. It's going to be trial by combat. That's what he's talking about. Okay, do you think that, do you think that, do you think that a quote like this? Okay. Do you think that a quote like this? Um, our country has had, or I'm sorry. <clears throat> um, 
and in that clip that you can see when I do a larger movement it doesn't track the entire thing but I'm trying to recreate that problem now and I have been since I got it the first time and I just can't like no matter what I do no matter how fast I move the mouse it tracks pro properly so really no LOD issues. The DPI deviation, I tested it to be around 800 to 815, which for 3335 is like fucking unheard of. Um, but yeah, the wireless just doesn't feel that bad on this mouse, aside from those issues that I had. And I'll be sure to note if those pop up anymore. Um, but for now, I just, I don't know, can't get them to happen. And obviously connectivity issues are something that many people want to avoid, but this is a fucking $45 mouse that gets basically everything else right. A few missed flicks out of like multiple thousands isn't really keeping me up at night. Um, the clicks on this mouse, like I said before, I strongly believe they're Juano blue shell white dots now. And these clicks, as I said before, they're just fucking good. I mean, it's it really caught me off guard. But yeah, after I just listened to them for like 20 minutes straight, I was like, yup, Juanos. Um, the side buttons, like I said, they're really fucking weird. They remind me of like G Pro Hero side buttons almost in like the terms of how they feel. Um, the size of this mouse, that's one thing I should probably talk about. Um, since it's not the same size as the Viper Mini, it almost feels like a mix of the Viper Mini and the Viper Ultimate in hand. It has a very similar, like, length and width to the Viper Ultimate, um, but, like, the back of the mouse in your palm feels much more akin to a Viper Mini. So it's sort of like a hybrid Razer Viper family shape, and I, I fuck with it. It's definitely more narrow than the Viper Ultimate at the grip width, so for fingers fingertip it feels a little bit less clunky in hand you guys know that i don't really love the viper ultimate for fingertip and for claw it just feels like a very natural like viper mini inspired shape and i've lined all three mice up to try to like give you an idea of the size differences and i think that the deluxe m800 unironically is like a pretty sick budget mouse um 45 dollars prime shipping even if you do have problems with it you can just return it to amazon so fucking easily and I'm not going to sit here and tell you that this mouse is better than the Super Light. It's nowhere near perfect. It possibly has, like, connectivity issues, um, shitty feet. But at $45, I just don't see many wireless mice in this range that even come remotely close. Um, because this mouse has, like, good features that prove to me it's, like, a well-thought-out product. It has a really good and safe shape. Um, a surprisingly good weight, like, 70 grams, that's what the fucking Model O wireless weighs. Like, that is, the Viper Ultimate is even heavier. Um, so it's, like, a really competitive weight. One of the best coatings I've ever used, and some insane clicks out of the box. And the all-around quality, although, like, I can get it to activate side flexing, um, it doesn't feel like a cheap piece of shit in hand. And these were just my initial impressions. They were clearly fairly positive. Um, but yeah, I will drop a full review in about a week, maybe a bit more. Um, but yeah, make sure to leave a like and sub. I'll put some Krunker gameplay. And yeah, peace. Call time. Hey, dude. Sexy. You know, it helps if you can learn to speak English before you call in. Raw time. Raw time. Hello. Hi. I just, oh, I, I, time. Can I stick my ramrod in your ass? Your what? My ramrod. Your ramrod? I don't know what yeah. I'm seeing. Raw time? Bitch, you're ugly. Fucking hoe. Oh yeah, bitch. Ah, blah, blah, blah.